So recently on my Twitch stream, I decided to go through the absolute hell of trying to get a perfect game in Wii Sports. Now you might be asking yourself, why did you do this? And to that I say, in all fairness, I did not think bowling a perfect game would be as difficult as I thought it would be. I did not think there was going to be as many games where I was only one frame or even one pin away from getting a perfect game. This game is a piece of shit, bro. I'm so done. One pin, one fucking pin. Oh my God, dude. It was that last one, bro. Try to play it cool. You see, like, you're on the streak of, like, one more. Like, you just have to do one more, and then you're good to go. And I don't even finish the spare off of it. That's just is. I need to find every single game that I've had over the last two days where it's decided by, like, by one pin. Again. One pin again. Look at this. 279. Like that's another game. Another game where it's one pin. Nice throw. It's one pin. It gets to the last, the last one. And I can't throw. Uh, just, just, no shot. Look at that fucking score. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I decided to do this. Like, what compelled me to do this? Because if I do get the perfect game, it's not like my life is going to drastically change for the better. It's not like people are going to, like, remember me for this incredible moment in history or something like that. I, I just randomly wanted to do it. It took me about three stream days to do it. And embarrassingly enough, have you ever played Wii Sports enough to where... Your, uh, your arm and your elbow start to hurt because you're kind of just constantly whiplashing your arm. That happened to me, so I had to take a, like, a day break from playing the game to, uh, to be able to do this. And one thing with the Wii Remote, and even just the human body, is the inconsistencies. Because if you tilt your wrist, even just a little to the left, to the right, forward, back, whatever, the ball is gonna go in a completely different direction. So I think that kind of answers why it took so long. It's because not only do you have to be perfect in game, but your physical movements have to be the exact same for 12 frames in a row to be able to do a perfect game. So it was a challenge at one point. I didn't think it was gonna happen, but I finally got a perfect game and this is that. We have our spot. We just have to be consistent with that spot now, you know? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Oh my god. Nice oh my gosh. We did it! Let's go! Did we do it? Nice throw. Oh my gosh, we fucking did it! Let's go, boys! Perfect.
<sighs> it's like a bittersweet feeling. Finally did it, but at what cost? All that torment and everything just for that. Holy sh- We did it. Woo! Dude, I was getting nervous there at the end. Oh my god. That's a YouTube video. That is a YouTube video if I've ever seen one. I'm gonna make a compilation of all the times that I uh, failed or got really close and then boom. I am going to retire from bowling for the time being. Baby, we did it. After three days of trying, you saw it right there. I got a perfect game in bowling. I don't know how many people have ever done that, but for me, for whatever reason, that seems like a cool thing to have had happen. Like I said, my life will not change because of this uh, this event, but uh, it is a personal victory that I will I will hold deeply in my heart, and I will brag about it, and I bragged about it so much that I made a YouTube video for all of you to watch. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you've ever bowled a perfect game so I can lower my ego just a little bit. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.